15th, starts at 4.30. Uh, it's at High Cotton Brewery, which is a great place, great beer, great room. Uh, the way the event's going to be set up is it's going to start off with a 30-minute legal presentation by me. Uh, and I'll go through kind of the basics of here's here's what the law requires, here's what the law allows, here's, here's how we understand uh, – your transgender employees and transgender customers, what, what the law says about this. And then we'll take a 15 minute break for everyone to, you know, try to wake back up, um, try to try to come back to, and then we'll have 30 minutes of Barbara coming in and telling her story and her wow. experience. And, um, it's, you know, I don't want to give anything away because I will just, it's kind of like when someone tells you the funny part of a movie and it right. just ruins it for you. Right. Um, but Barbara's she's, an award-winning storyteller. She's, she's won awards in Asheville and in Oxford and in Memphis for her storytelling abilities. She's incredibly gifted uh, and very insightful. And so hopefully between the two, you know, you'll come out with the employers will come out with a better understanding of, of you know, how to create this, how to create an inclusive work environment. Cause it's, it's not necessary. It's, it takes more than good intentions. Yeah, it does. So high cotton brewery is the new brewery on, 598 Monroe, that's downtown, right at uh, Monroe and Madison, where mm -hmm. it splits right there, off of Union. So uh, you're in the area, 38103. Again, the address is 598 Monroe Avenue, 38103. Come on down. Uh, next Thursday, it's going to be Thursday. Yep. And we're going to be in that thing. I will be there. Is it open Amen. to the public? Well, there is a, it's, yeah, it's absolutely open to the public. It's, tw if you register ahead of time, it's $20, $20. If you, at the door, it's 25 mm -hmm. Um, So, but what comes with it is you get an hour of CLE. If you're a lawyer, you know, you got to have your continuing legal editor. They're going to yank that law license and that's no fun. Um, and then it also is an hour of what they call SHRM credits, which are the human resources credits. Oh. So, um, but uh, you know, if you're if your listeners shoot me a message or shoot y'all a message and pass it on to me, I bet we could uh, give them a reduced rate. You know, I'm a lawyer. You are now. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. I used to watch Perry Mason. No, no, he, Perry. <laughs> you know what's the most frustrating thing is like when you're going through and having a trial, uh -huh. and I walk up and I'm like, "How many of y'all have seen Law and Order? <laughs> oh, yeah, we love that show. Pretty entertaining, right? Yeah. Have you ever seen this process of the trial where we're sitting around doing nothing? I'm like. I assure you that this will not be any as nearly as fun as Perry Mason. I'm still waiting for that Perry Mason moment where I'm questioning the witness and he just folds. I know. Goes, I'm sorry, I Mr. Ratton. Did I did it. You know, normally they just look at me and go, okay. Well. So, so how did your firm become a, uh, involved with the event and, and sponsoring the event? Well, uh, I, I, I pitched it to him. Basically oh. I came up, uh, you know, I met with, uh, you know, I had, I, like I was talking about, I had this kind of idea and mm -hmm. met with Barbara and Barbara and I, and the creative director spill it, Josh and I, we all went out to lunch and I was like, do y'all think this is, y'all think this would work? And so I called some friends of mine that are, that are also lawyers or their business owners. I was like, what do y'all think about this? And they liked it. So we came the firm loved it. Like even our, our head partner who's the CEO of the firm in Atlanta. He was like, you've got to do this. This is a great idea. We think it could really help. And it's interesting because, you know, Starbucks did that big training recently. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, it, they've kind of, and obviously that wasn't, they weren't stealing my idea. I don't, I don't, I don't maybe. think, I don't maybe. think, maybe. I don't know. I mean, we're probably going to investigate that. But, uh, <laughs> but, I, but a lot of the training that they did was kind of along these same lines okay. of this idea of going, hey, you got to know the law. Mm -hmm. You've got to know what the floor is. You can't, if you go below this floor, we're going to come take your money. Mm -hmm. But you also need to hear people's stories. And yeah. so they had, they had, you know, stories of different folks that worked for them coming out and being like, hey, this is what my experience has been, um, you know, with like, you know, implicit bias. This is what my experience has been with all these different things. And, you know, and, and for most accounts, that was a good training program. So it's kind of the same idea. It's that they're two, they serve two different functions. I can teach you the law, but a story, when you hear the story, you learn how to like kind of move in those areas that the yep. law doesn't cover. Yes. And how to really learn how to hopefully create an environment where you, all of your employees feel comfortable and, and like they're, they can thrive. So this is why you're a rising star. <laughs> there you go. Either that or someone was uh, misguided in drinking during the selection <laughs> process. But uh, one or the other, I'll take it. I'll take it however I can get it. Absolutely. Absolutely. I think that, you know, um, we, we are promoting the event on our social media sites and, and trying to push it and uh, bring up the awareness and let people know because it's not too often that you hear a law firm. 
mm -hmm. uh, tagging their name up with an event for the LGBTQ community in any fashion. So I think that that's great. I applaud uh, Fisher Phillips mm -hmm. Thank you. for uh, being a sponsor and, and jumping out in front of the issue and being an ally to the community. Mm -hmm. it's, so, it's so important to have allies mm -hmm. uh, in the LGBT community. And, uh, you know, as you said earlier, you know, and we have these uh, Fortune 500 uh, companies in, around Memphis, a, a lot of them, and we need to hear more from you all <laughs> for the general public. And I understand you maybe do it in your workplace, but what also helped dispel stigma and bring down these walls and these barriers that we have when we have companies stand up. It was kind of like they did against Indiana when, when uh, Pence was governor. And, <laughs> and, and, and uh, you know, a lot of companies stood up to him, you know, right. uh, and North Carolina to say, no, you know, we're not going to do it. And they pulled right. a, a all star game out. They pulled an NCAA tournament out. Uh, even NASCAR said something. So I think that's so important because had it not been for those uh, organizations that really had no vested interest, uh, we don't think. Well, I even think... Apple said something. So we need, we have to have corporate America to be involved with what's going on with social issues and social justice. Absolutely. Well, you need allies. You, we have to say this word, allies with privilege. Mm. It's okay to have regular allies. I said corporations. Uh-uh. You got to <laughs> use the word privilege. <laughs> and that, that means allies who are have the monies, allies who may be different in race, allies with divorce, the contacts, whatever. You need people with privilege and power to be allies to speak up on the uh, – the disenfranchised behalf to make the push stronger. Well, I just had an epiphany. What? Uh, we have an event in June. Okay. Every June. We have, we're over Tri-State Black Pride. Okay. And it's a four-day festival. Uh, it started the following day weekend. Uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and, and Thursday, Friday, yeah, Saturday, and Sunday. And we do educational forums on Friday and Saturday. And I think it would be great to have... Spill it! Or spill it, or educational component as part of Pride, talking about legal aspects. And we maybe yep. can pull some corporate people to come in and be part of what we're doing. In I'd the love city to help To raise that. awareness with the issues that we have. Yeah, I think I would love to help you facilitate that. I think that's a, that's a great idea. Um, because, I, it's, you know, it's like you said, it's, it's universal. And you all have same issues. We have same issues. But when you can... Uh, put a face on it and hear a story about it and allow people to sit in and hear it. You know, a lot of people are hearing it now, but they may forget. So we want to keep, keep talking about this. We've got to keep talking about it. We can't just let it fall. Absolutely. Absolutely. So is there anyone you want to give a shout out to Rob, your wife? <laughs> the kids, I think my wife is Barbara. listening. Hey wife. She's my wife has sent me a couple of texts, uh, making fun of me. It's the <laughs> true, true love. Uh, but yeah, definitely. Uh, Barbara Hope, who's going to be our storyteller, uh, I, I really, uh, you can get on Spillett's website. You can find stories that Barbara's told. Uh, one of them is on Roots is one of the podcasts on there. Another one's on Coming Out. Uh, Josh Campbell with Spillett, uh, who is the director of Spillett right now. He's been a huge, huge help. And obviously, you know, my firm has, I, I was really, I wasn't surprised, but I was really, really grateful at the level of support they've given me they've they have really pushed this they've uh, offered to you know fun they've offered funds they've offered all these things to, to get it going so fisher phillips has really gotten behind this and i think we'll continue to allies with privilege <laughs> that's my new word i need to get that trademark uh, turn and trademark that for me please yes Go sir ahead. hold right. on let me let me put that in the Thank calendar you. i thought you was a lawyer I am a lawyer. Yeah. I don't want to trademark my own stuff. <laughs> Lawyers have lawyers. <laughs> oh, you no. do. See? See? I've, I've been to law school. I stayed at Holiday Inn. Hopefully, hopefully not criminal, you know. But right. <laughs> right. Anybody else you want to give a shout out to? I, my wife and my kids are probably listening at the uh, at the Lorenzen Wright house. <laughs> I love That's it. Tad Lorenzen Wright, the artist, not the recently deceased Grizzlies player. People cool. confuse that. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was like, he got a house? <laughs> no, no, I forgot that his name sounds the same as a... Uh... Yeah. So let's give a recap on the event, on the day of the event, uh, where it is, how much it costs, and how people can register and find out. Yeah, hop on... Uh, I mean, I, I believe there's a link now on y'all's Facebook page, but there's definitely... If you get on Fisher Phillips' uh, website, you can go to their training, uh, their events page, and you can click on, you can register. It's August 16th. 
at High Cotton Brewery. Starts around 4.30, uh, including the price of the mission, CLE and food and beer and wine. We're gonna, it's gonna be, it should be fun. Like the goal is for this to be a good time where we, we learn a little with good people, good food, good, good goals, making the workplace better and more inclusive. It's on the front page of the website. There it is. Yeah. Matter of fact, we will put a link on our website to this yeah, website. I put a link on it. That'd be great. And they said I, it should be the, the goal of this event is for it to be educational, but and for us to all learn a lot. But it's also fun. Like Barbara's yes. Barbara's a, a great storyteller. And she's, you know, you, you're not going to be bored. It's not one of those legal events where you just sit there going, Dear God, please, <laughs> please make this end. <laughs> if I hear one more thing about how to structure my pay scale, I'm going to, you know, run through this wall. It's, you know, it's going to be entertaining. And there's beer, you know, which hey, is always fun. Can't be beer. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm glad that, um, uh, let me say this in our closing remarks, I'm glad that individuals like you who are a rising star, recognized <laughs> by Mid-South Super Lawyers, uh, have, uh, in the words of Spike Lee, woke up, wake up. And I just realized that Spike Lee was on CNN, and he said, and do the right thing at the end of the movie. He said, wake up. Uh, what's the other movie he produced back in the day? Uh, School Days. School Days, uh-huh. he said, wake up. Uh-huh. And it was another movie he produced. Uh, was it Crooklyn? I don't know, but he said, wake up in three movies at the end of the movie. And he was talking about how uh, now is the time for people to wake up, to vote, to uh, get 46 minus one at the White House <laughs> and uh, stop all this racism and issues we have and get ready for the midterm election. So um, I will uh, give you kudos and praises, Rob, for waking up and waking up the people around you and your law firm and being so vocal and being an ally with privilege to just be on the front line of this battle to represent our transgender sisters and brothers out here who really have struggles because I don't have the same issues they have. Right. I have privilege. And even though I'm a black gay man, I still have privilege that they don't have. So uh, thank you for speaking up on their behalf because I speak up a a lot for our transgender sisters and brothers because my aunt was transgender. And my aunt uh, died in what, 88, 87? 90. 90. My my aunt was the 80th. 87th. 87th case of HIV and AIDS here in Shelby County. And my aunt was ahead of her time, big time. And she was beautiful. I'll show you a picture after the show. But... That's why it's so passionate to me for, to speak up for our transgender sisters and brothers. So thank you once again for speaking up on behalf of our transgender sisters and brothers. And thank so you all so much for I'll having me. I'll just give you a quick recap for everyone. The, the event starts at registration is at 4, 4.30 to 5 p.m. And the program starts from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. They're going to have beverages and hors d'oeuvres from 6 to 7. The cost of the event is $20 online. It's 25 at the door. Mm-hmm. And this event has been approved for one hour of SHRM. And C H C R H R C I credit. Okay, like on Tom Fred Sanford, Smith, Smitty, and Hockey, you translate. Yeah, that just means to the people that care about that stuff, they'll all know what it is. It's Sherm and right, HR credit. Right. Okay, okay. Yeah. So, HR uh, credits. You know, that's, yeah, good fun stuff. And they're trying to get you some CLE. Yeah, and <laughs> we'll continue in legal ed and some more d'oeuvres. It's a good time. Good that's time, funny. good time. Remember, it's going to be at High Cotton Brewery. 598 Monroe, Memphis, Tennessee, 38103. That's Thursday, August the 16th from 4.30 to 7 p.m. Well, we made it to the end. We want to thank this rising star. Uh, what's your wife's name again? My wife's name is Katie. Katie. Hey, Katie. He's a rising star, Katie. <laughs> we got a rising star sitting right here, Katie. So we're going to give a shout out once again to our rising star recognized by Mid-South Super Lawyers and the Unleashed Radio Show, Attorney Rob Ranton. He's the man. He's the man. He's the man. <laughs> Thanks for coming on our show, Rob. Thank you all so much. Uh, this has been great. All right, Fisher Phillips, you're doing it. Absolutely. Well, we had a great time. We made it to our end of the show. Tune in on next week. And uh, what else? Uh, we'll let you know uh, who's coming in the studio with us next week. So we're getting ready. We got a lot going on. Tomorrow is the official anniversary for the Cathedral Praise Church of Memphis and Corporate My Church. Six years in the Memphis community. <laughs> Safe space for everybody. Come over and join us tomorrow. Oh, and uh, 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 you can, you can 46... Oh, 46 minus one, Amber Rosa. What's her name? Amber Rosa? Amorosa? Yeah, Amorosa is not a low life. <laughs> Stop calling her a low life. She's not a low life. She's a good person. Well, we made it. We said we're done. Thank you. Tune in next week. She's not a low life. <laughs> yes, she is. No. If she can't come back. We took her black card. No. <laughs> No. Hey, thanks for tuning in. This is Daisy ah. and Gwen, and we are out. Ah. Bye.
Bye!